Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th, okay, but the timing is fluid, keep that in mind. You may uh, hear a little noise in the background, that's the heat, the heat is on, okay, so uh, I got a little fireplace in here, it's one of those little electric ones, and it's blowing. <laughs> so anyway, the heat is on, so let's just see what we got. What do we have for around the 12th? What do we have for around the 12th? I think there's a, well, this is the third reading. Okay, it's the third reading. So what I, there's somebody that is watching. Okay, there's somebody that is watching and uh, they're obsessed. It feels like they're obsessed with watching. Okay, they are um, afraid. They're very fearful to communicate. They're fearful because they're fearful of rejection. What I had was the Page of Swords reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed up here. First two cards. So uh, they can mean so many things. Uh, so this is having a hard time communicating. Emotions all over the place. So somebody is having a hard time expressing their emotions. They want to but they can't. Um, and they might not be able to is because of their pride, because they had the Nine of Wands reversed as well, which is extreme pride. So we have somebody here that is extremely prideful. And then we did have the Page of Cups reversed down here, which was fear of rejection, you know. Um, maybe they think that there's no chance, so that's why they're not communicating. Um, so anyway, let's see what we got with this. Oh, it was my fourth time. Third or fourth. The Magician. Now this is just do it. Take action. The magician is act now. Okay, this is a very masculine energy. This is, this is a golden opportunity to take action. To do whatever it takes. We have an individual here that is very powerful. That does have the tools to be successful. But they're going to have to just do it. Okay, they're going to have to let go of their fear and have faith in their, themselves, have faith in their abilities. So I think we have somebody here who does have the power. They have the power to get whatever they want or to do whatever they want, but they have to take action. Let me just turn the heat down for a second. I'll just turn it off. So, the magician is about taking action to bring success. So, somebody is going to be taking action. This is somebody who does something. They do, they, they're going to do something. So, let's see. Magician takes action. Has come up with a plan. Eight eight of pentacles reversed now that's not putting in much effort uh not queen of afraid we definitely have somebody that is afraid i mean the queen of swords in reverse well we all know who she is she is very intimidating very okay the queen of swords in reversed is uh bitter okay she is bitter she's bitter she's uh, not one to mess with. Uh, she is very authentic. She she will cut you <laughs> very, very, very fast. Very fast. So whoever this magician is, uh, isn't putting in much effort because whoever it is that he, they are thinking about is, uh, well, very brash, very assertive, uh, scary. They may very scared. This magician is scared, and this this woman is, uh, well, she's a bitch, and uh, she's not a bitch that uh, is gonna put up with any type of nonsense. Okay, she doesn't put up with any nonsense whatsoever. Um, but something isn't working out with a bitch so that's interesting so something's not working out so this person needs to take action now, now I'm changing the story this is somebody else's story 
you know, thousands of people, like tens, 10,000 people watch these, right? So there's going to be different, different timelines, different stories. So, and on another note, there is, there is a, there's a woman here that is, this could be like a wicked stepmother or an ex or, um, whoever this person is, they, uh, lie. They're, they're selfish. They, um, don't listen to anybody. This person has a hidden agenda. We could have an individual that is about to, uh, well, this is not working out with this individual. Something's not working out with this individual. This person's about to take action. Eight of Swords. So this is mental turmoil. We have somebody here that is in some sort of mental turmoil over this individual. Really, really, really struggling, asking what they should do. This person is uh, in a situation. They're trapped. They're trapped in their mind. They're trapped in their thoughts over this person. This person right here has betrayed them, has made them feel low, has made them feel uh, like they're not good enough. Somebody has, has made them feel like they have to do what they say. This is like prison. Okay, it's prison. This is like a mental prison. This is being trapped. They've, they've really belittled a person and this person is thinking I feel like they're thinking about what they're going to do. It's like they're talking to a higher power and saying, well, how am I going to get out of this? And it's like the higher power is saying, just get up and go. Just go. Just go. But this person is choosing to stay. They're choosing to stay in this situation instead of getting up and leaving. So somebody is choosing to stay in a situation because they're afraid. They're afraid of this individual. Eight of Swords. Eight of Wands. Now this is this is a message. Messages that are coming, moving, moving forward very, very fast. There's going to be a change. Somebody is coming in to save somebody. This person is trapped. Or they're in some sort of situation that isn't good. This is like coming to save. Somebody may be coming to save somebody. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, now this one may be... That Queen of Swords, she is... Uh, very vindictive. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is vindictive. This vindictive person um, has been doing something, has been doing something to another person that has been making them feel like they can't make a move or that, they, that they're trapped. It's like uh, confinement or something. Look at that. Eight, eight, eight. Three eights. Eight, eight, eight. Abundance. Eights are about abundance. Eights are about movement, change. The time is now. Go ahead. Go for it. Right now. When you see 888, eight, eight, the time is right now to do something. It's time to do it. It's time to do it. It's time. It's time. It's time to let go of your fears. It's time to put in effort. Don't waste your time. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, just do it. Just do it. That's what this is. Eight is just do it. It's time. Eight, eight, eight is also everlasting love. Oh, God. 
Also, also 888 is consequences because what goes around comes around. It's consequences of, of our deeds, right? It's, it's like infinite effects, getting what we deserve, going after what we would deserve, stepping outside of our fear. Somebody has to take action right now. The, 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 the magician is right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. That is this message. It's do it. Do it right now. Let go of your fear. Let go of your fear. Somebody is afraid. They're afraid of this queen of swords and reversed. Well, she is intimidating. She is intimidating because she's been hurt. So the queen of swords and reverse is in. She may be bitter and she, she probably has been hurt really, really bad by somebody. And so she has up a protective mechanism. You know, she's she puts off a bitch vibe because it's a protective tactic. So, you know, let go of your fear and step into the picture. So that's exactly what this is. So there is somebody that is definitely afraid. That's why they're not putting in effort, but they're thinking about it. And my advice is to just do it. Right now is the time. And now eights or in, infinity is about time. Right now, just do it. Just do it. So somebody is thinking about... Uh, well, I think it's communicating, okay, or sending a message to that, to that Queen of Swords in reversed. But I think that you know she's had to be a bitch, and she probably was a bitch, and she had to be because she was hurt, okay. And yes, you know when people act out of pain every every day, okay, they do, especially when they've been rejected or overlooked or treated badly. So I do feel like uh, somebody didn't put in effort with this Queen of Swords in reverse when they should have. And they're thinking about it. Uh, they've been suffering in some sort of mental turmoil. And, you know, they want to, but they, they're going to have to uh, let go of their fear. They're going to have to let go of their fear and just do it. So I do believe that we have a very... Um, wise individual here that has the power right now okay this is somebody that is very power powerful and there is a golden opportunity but this person has to take charge i feel like this this person and, and mission the magician is a masculine energy i feel like this person um has been planning it they've been planning it but there's still fear there's fear of being, you know, getting hurt. I mean, this Queen of Swords, if she says no, boy, it ain't going to be pretty. And I think that's the biggest fear, you know, because when you when you piss off the Queen of Swords, if you've done something to hurt her, which obviously somebody has because she's in the reverse, then, you know, hell hath no fury as a woman scorned. So I think that's what this person is worried about. They're worried about the aftermath. But... It takes willpower and strength and confidence to face your fears. Um, I do believe that there is a message that is coming because this is like an everlasting love. Eight, eight, eight. This is a divine connection, okay? Um, this may be what you asked for. This may be the one, okay? So this may be the one. This may be the one. And part of our life lessons in this lifetime is to face our fears and to not run away from conflict and you know if if you even if there is rejection don't run away from the conflict face it face it head on so um <laughs> now i got to i got to rephrase that because you know the video i did the other other day um that doesn't mean to fight I gotta, I gotta fix this up here. It's, it doesn't mean... It's like, don't run away from the conflict from the one that you love. Okay? If you love somebody, tell them that you love them. If you are... You know, if somebody is the one, you know they are the one. You have to face your fears. You have to face your ability to uh, accept confrontation. Okay, there's going to be ups and downs to think about the infinity, but you can't run from it. Okay, so I feel like, but that doesn't mean to argue with the world on Facebook is what I'm trying to say on in on Instagram. 
Okay, that's... React out of love, not hate. The sun, the sun reversed. So this is sadness, it's poor logic. We have somebody here that is sad, they're sad, they are restricting themselves because of fear, it's definitely fearful. Somebody is not putting in effort because of their fear, fear of rejection. There's a, somebody's not being honest, honest with themselves and they're lonely. They're lonely because of disillusionment. Now this is sadness of some sort. Somebody, this is like a lack of clarity. Somebody isn't thinking clearly. They're not, they're not. Somebody is not thinking clearly. They need to find their strength to take action. And you think about the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about, well, a lot of people don't mention it anymore, but it is the rods of love. So I feel like somebody is, is in love with somebody or they, they want to message somebody, but they... They don't have the uh, strength to do so. They're too fearful. Somebody's also not being honest with themselves. There's unhealthiness here. Somebody isn't healthy. They're not healthy. They're not, and their health may be declining because they're not following their heart. The sun is a card of heart. Somebody's not following their heart. <laughs> you know, I have to also say I'm going to change the story again. Okay, if this is for somebody else. We may have somebody that takes action and does something. It doesn't work out and they end up in prison. Just being honest. They may they may be on some sort of mission. They're unhealthy, mentally unbalanced. Just saying. And that is somebody's story. Um the Queen of Swords in reversed is is uh a nasty. You know, she's not so she is nasty. She she's very selfish. And for those of you that are actually the Queen of Swords, you know, this is in the reverse. We all take on these energies at times. So don't get your butt hurt. I know I'm going to get a few butt hurts to hear that say, oh, that's, I'm a Queen of Swords and I'm not. Well, then this reading isn't for you. If you can't live up to your dark points, then... <laughs> Go watch fantasy TV. I think something is coming back around with the eight eight eight. Somebody's coming back around to deal with this bitch. We all have bitch in us. The fool. Yeah. Fucking fool. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's, I couldn't stop myself. Anyhow, um... Reversed. This <laughs> full reverse. This is somebody that is very fearful. Extremely fearful. And they may be missing an opportunity. Because they don't have any faith. They don't have any trust. 
There's unfinished business here. Somebody's is coming back around and they because there's unfinished business. The time is now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Right now. The time is now. The time is now to face your fears. This is what you asked for. This is a golden opportunity. But it's going to take strength. Because a magician is a card of strength. It's not a time to, to listen to advice. It's time to do what your heart wants. Somebody has been ignoring their heart. And they're missing an opportunity. There is an opportunity to start fresh. I do see that somebody is about to take action. But their fears have been holding them back. Their fear of, you know, confrontation with this woman, whoever this woman is. I mean, <laughs> she is scary. She is scary. What will she say? What will she say? The Eight of Wands is good news, really. Typically it is in the upright. Ready. Get ready. This is get ready. Five of Cups. This is a reunion in reversed. Some sort of reunion. It is coming back. Somebody is coming back around. There could also be new prospects as well. So now is the time. 888. Eight, eight. Now is the time. The time is now, right now. Because there's new prospects that are coming. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Now we got the world on the bottom. The world is accomplishment. It's a completion of a cycle. It's learning a lesson. Lessons have, somebody has learned a lesson. This is the end of a, end of a journey. All right. It's the end of a, of a life lesson. It's the end of a phase. Somebody has learned something. This is completing a cycle and beginning a new one. It's time to go right now, right now. It's time to go. Stop wasting time. Take action. Face your fears. If you're not happy, go. This is this is freedom as well. There could also be some public recognition that is coming. Somebody has been letting fear stop them. Fear has stopped somebody from following their heart. There's been a deep depression. There's been deep sorrow. There's been a lot of sadness here. A lot of grieving. Loneliness. But it's time. It's time to go. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. It's time to face your fears. This is leaving the past behind, traveling, moving, literally leaving the past behind, letting bygones be bygones with this five of cups reversed.
this is the end. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a project. It's the end of uh, the old you. Somebody has learned a lesson or they're about to learn a lesson. They're completing a chapter in their life. Leaving the past behind and stepping into a whole new world. It's like stepping into a whole new timeline. Starting a new chapter. Starting a new life. But it's not going to be easy. It definitely is not going to be easy. This is about... Really, really, really facing your fears and following your heart. This There could be some sad news that is coming too. I don't know who that's for because this is sad, sad news. Sad, sad news. <laughs> somebody may suddenly, because these can be very sudden, somebody may suddenly decide to leave. Okay, I'm just, I'm just being honest. They may suddenly so decide to break free from the, a bitch. Okay, <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, and maybe that's sad news for you somehow. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Or for them. Maybe it's sad news for that person. You know, anyway, that queen of swords in reverse is an individual who is very selfish, okay, or scary or intimidating or, I mean, I could go all day with her characteristics and, and it doesn't mean that you're going to fit every single one of them. She is very intimidating. And in some instances, she lies, okay? <sighs> So somebody is about to take action. They have been fearful to do so. But I think that they are going to face their fears. I do. I feel like they're going to face their fears and they're going to go someplace that they were damn scared to go. I think that they are going to do it because that is what their heart is telling them to do. And I think they've been ignoring their heart. But I feel like their heart is telling them that they have to do this or that they should do this. Time's almost up. of cups. I told you it was all about heart. I knew that it was. This is about heart. It's about following your heart. It's about love. This is a new beginning in love. A new start in love. It's about being honest with your with what your heart wants. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Somebody is. Somebody's going to be following their heart. And it's going to be very emotional. There could be a new start in love. There could be a new love. There could be a reunion. There could be a reconciliation. Whatever there is, there is a new opportunity for love here. But you're going to have to let go of your fear. And step into unknown territory. So I do believe that there's there's going to be a message that is coming. Um... It's going to be a heartfelt message. Uh, somebody may be expressing their feelings. Um, they may be saying they're sorry. There could be some sort of forgiveness here, which I know that's, for a lot of you, that's, you may be totally unprepared for it, you know. You could be dealing with somebody that you would never expect to apologize. Um, now, the Ace of Cups is, a, is also a, a, a card of heaven. Okay, um, so th the heaven is involved. This will, this will make you feel like you are in heaven. Okay, um, there's going to be a flood of emotion. Okay, be prepared to have a flood of emotion because you're going to receive some news. I mean, I don't know if it's sad news or what it is, but there is some news that is coming. Okay, um, 
Well, it ended. But we weren't done. So, what I have to say is, there is an opportunity for love here. There's an opportunity for new love. There's an opportunity to start fresh. The Ace of Cups is a flood of emotion. It is following your heart. Listening to your intuition. This is a new start in love that can lead to a lot of happiness. Extreme happiness. Now, the Ace of Cups, I don't know if you heard it because the camera ended, is also a card of heaven. But you have to be available to accept. Okay, you have to be able to accept what your heart wants. If you think about heaven, when you get up there, it's all beautiful, right? It's all beautiful. That's what you picture it, right? You picture it as being uh, the ultimate place, right? There's an opportunity to experience that now if you follow your heart. So anyhow, I do believe that there is going to be a expression of feelings, okay? I feel like somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. Um, they're going to be expressing their love. Good luck.